Okay guys and girls, um, this is a very quick tutorial. I get a lot of customers asking about how to add a tool to the Vetric tool database. Now not just any tool, but you know, specialty form tools. Let's say a, a box core bit or a round over, things like that. You know, something with a special profile, which is uh, called a form tool. Now, for the most part, when you're adding just a general tool, uh, we can choose, you know, a ball nose, end mill, radius end mill, V bits, engraving bits, tapered ball nose, drills, uh, these type of items we can add right into the uh, tool database without having to do anything special. But when it comes to our form tools, uh, in order to add a form tool, we have to draw the profile, not, not the whole profile, but just the right half of the profile. So I'm going to show you that now. So let's take a, uh, for instance, let's go ahead and close out of this and let's take a look at a box core bit. Okay. And oh, well, thumbs up, dude. Take a look at a box core bit. Now this is going to be a very simple profile to draw in. Uh, this particular bit has a overall diameter of three quarters of an inch. It has a radius of three eighths of an inch. And then it has an overall cutting height from the bottom of the bit to the top of the bit of seven sixteenths. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this in. So three quarters, three eighths inch radius, overall cutting height of seven sixteenths. So let's go ahead and get back to our Vetric. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my circle tool and I'm going to go ahead and draw in a, say a three quarter inch diameter circle. So I'll just click here and get that on there. Now I'm going to go into node editing on this and I'm going to cut the two side nodes. I'm going to cut the vector here and here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that top half. So now we have, if we were to take a look at our measurements here, uh, we've got pretty much everything we need almost, but if I were to measure across, I'm going to have my three quarter inch overall diameter, right? If I was to um, come in and measure the radius, I'd have my three inch radius, and let's uh, change my decimal places to three, uh, and let's get rid of we'll add this one in here 0.375 for my radius let's delete that one so we've got our radius the only thing that we're missing here is the height so from the bottom of the bit to the top of the bit right now I'm at 3 8 and uh, the overall cutting height is 7 16 so I need to add another 16th of an inch to uh, this and I'm just going to do it on the one side because we only need the right side of the profile so I'm going to come in with my polyline tool and I'm going to zoom in so I can get my decimals down and I'm going to come in and draw a 0.625 inch line 0625 16th of an inch line and then I'm going to go ahead and go into node editing cut this in half right down here at the middle get rid let's go ahead and get rid of this uh, right side here we'll get rid of this measurement and this measurement here now I have two vectors I gotta join together let's go ahead and get rid of that measure as well now I've got two vectors here that I've got to join together to make it one continuous vector so I'm gonna go into the join tool and when I select the vectors here, I've got two open vectors. When I click join, I'll have one closed. Okay, so now I have one profile, the right side profile. And this profile has everything that I need. If we were to look again at the measurements, uh, the arc measurement here. Oops. Let me select the arc measurement. Thank you very much. All right, we've got our three eighths of an inch arc measurement here my horizontal measurement uh, i'm gonna go since i'm going halfway i'm gonna you know that's half of my diameter so three eighths and three eighths is going to be my three quarter inch diameter so we're good there and then the height i'm going to come in here and i've got my four three eight let's go four decimal places for that uh so we can get 
the proper measurements there. 4375 for my 7 16 and we'll go ahead and get rid of this one. All right, so we've got everything that we need. We've got that half right profile. So that's the key thing, drawing your right side profile to scale. Now you select your profile and then open your tool database. We're going to come, I'm going to click on Imperial Tools and New. From the drop down menu, I'm going to come into the Form tool and it will finish off my bit here for me, give me my overall diameter, and it will pre fill in some parameters. Uh, and uh, you can go ahead and make any adjustments or anything you would need you would want to you know if there's certain adjustments you want to make but I'm gonna leave the defaults uh, they're actually fine so I'm gonna go ahead and click apply and now that tool is up here now if I wanted to I could come in here and change the name to my point three seven five R let's go capital R box core Okay, and click apply to change that name up there. And now I've got it in my tool database. It's that simple. That's all we need to do. Now let's take a look at if we were doing working with a roundover. Okay, now this is the white side 2050 roundover. Uh, this roundover has a overall height from the top of the roundover to the bottom of the bit has an overall height of one quarter of an inch. It has a radius of an eighth of an inch, and it has a tip here of an eighth of an inch. And that's the only three numbers that I need to be able to draw this out, okay? So, and just so you know, the distance from the edge here to the edge here is an eighth of an inch well. This is a three-eighths inch wide overall bit so one eighth one eighth and one eighth three eighths inch overall width if you want to know that but all I need is I need to know the height from the bottom of the bit to the top of the round over the eighth inch radius here and eighth inch radius here now this straight lip because the top of my bit ends here I do have this straight edge uh, this is about a sixteenth uh, to an eighth of an inch long uh, I think it's a sixteenth so that's what we're gonna call it a sixteenth of an inch so let's go ahead and let's get in back into the Vetric and draw that out. So I'm going to start off with a rectangle. This is going to be the best way, uh, you know, to do it, uh, in, in my opinion, is I'm going to uh, have a 3 eighths of an inch wide. That's how wide my bit is. By a, I'm going to go a half an inch for right now, uh, and then we'll size it appropriately when it's done. But here's the key thing. I want an internal radius internal or internal radius of an eighth of an inch so I'm gonna go 0.125 and I'm gonna go ahead and click here of course it didn't put that radius in let's try that one more time 0.125 and apply there we go alright so now that I have this uh, bit in here I can go ahead and uh, clean it up so let's go into our node editing I'm going to take and I'm going to, you know, from here, uh, I'm going to cut it in half for the moment. Cut the vector there. And then I'm going to come here and cut it in the center here as well. And let's get rid of everything else. We don't need that uh, occupying us. Now, from the top of the bit, the roundover, to the very bottom of the bit should be one quarter of an inch. And right now it's an eighth of an inch. If we were to take a measurement and we'll go vertical, we'll go from here to here. Right now it's currently an eighth of an inch. So I got an add an eighth of an inch here. So let's go ahead and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into node editing mode. I'm gonna take um, in node editing, let's get up here and I'm gonna cut the vector right there. Now I'm going to take this line here and I'm literally, let's get rid of that measurement, uh, this line here, I'm literally going to drop it down. I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it down relative on the y-axis, negative 0.125. And I'm going to click apply. Okay. Now all I have to do is take this line and this vector here and join them with a straight line. There we go. There's my bit 
okay now as far as here to here let's take a measure and make sure that we have a sixteenth of an inch that's what I said so I do want to make sure that's it if not then we're gonna change that so that's an eighth of an inch so we're gonna make it a sixteenth uh, it may be an eighth but I believe on my bit it's a sixteenth of an inch so uh, we're going to basically take it's an eighth of an inch we only have to cut it in half right so if I click on this line here and I go into node editing mode right here on that center point I'm gonna right click and insert a point and then I'm gonna right click on this and delete that span there we go alright so now I've got one open vector everything is joined together okay so I've got that profile that's the right half of my profile go into the tool database I'm gonna go on Imperial tools new we're gonna choose form tool and uh, there's my 3 8 inch wide bit it cleaned up profile and on this bit now I when I'm doing roundovers and everything from the bottom of the bit to the top of the roundover is a quarter of an inch and so that's what I have the past step set on and as far as the step over from the uh, edge of the bit to the inside edge of the cutter is an eighth of an inch okay which is 33 and a third percent and that's what I have okay 45 and 15 is fine so I'm gonna go up here and this is gonna be my white side 2050 tool 2050 and just uh, for informational purposes I'm gonna put point one two five radius R for radius and We'll go ahead and click apply, add that to the tool database, and now we're ready to use these. Okay, so that is how you add a tool to your Vetric tool database. All right, everybody, thank you. Have a great day.